if you're given an endpoint of a line segment and the midpoint, and then you're asked for the other endpoint, there's two ways to do it. I'm gonna do it the easy way first. First, I want you to draw yourself the line segment. It goes here, it's called DF, and the midpoint is E. E corresponds to four comma three, F corresponds to five comma eight, and you're being asked where D is. Now, the trick is that however X and Y have changed to get you from one endpoint to the midpoint, in this case, five becomes four, you want to do that exact same change to get from the midpoint to the other endpoint. Five goes down to four, which goes down to three. It's a pattern because the midpoint is by definition in between the two. And it, you'll do the same for the Y coordinates as well. Eight goes down to three, that's down five. So take away another five, that becomes negative two. The coordinates of D here are three comma negative two. What your teacher might want to see is the midpoint formula. The fact that the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by two, comma y1 plus y2 divided by two, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of one endpoint, and x2, y2 are the coordinates of the other endpoint. Now here, you were actually given the midpoint itself, four comma three and you were given one of the endpoints. So you can do x1 plus that five, that's one of the x coordinates of the endpoints we know, and y1 plus eight. This is what your teacher probably wants to see set up. From this point, you can break this up into two separate equations. The first coordinate here, four, and the first coordinate here is supposed to be the same. So four equals x1 plus five over two. And similarly, three is the second coordinate here, y1 plus eight over two. Now your job would be to solve these with algebra, shall we? Why not? To undo dividing by two on this side, we would times by two on that side, to undo the adding five, we would take away five. I end up with two times four is eight, minus three, minus five is three, I should say. So we got the x coordinate of the other endpoint. Oh, look, it's the same number we thought it would be. Two times three gives six. I'll show this a little more rigorously. See how I moved the divided by two to the other side and multiplied it instead. Then when you take away eight on the other side, you get negative two. That's also what we expected. Therefore, the other endpoint is three comma negative two. Which way do I do it in the real world? Definitely this way. Which way does your teacher want it? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Best of luck.